Good morning, everybody. Kilt here. Welcome to morning of day 119 from the Appalachian Trail. We have left the Upper Goose Pond cabin. Had a pretty good pancake coffee breakfast. Pushed on out of there and got back here to trail proper by 7.30, so good start. And we are pushing north. This morning, we're working on our first of two climbs, like usual. And we've got roots we're messing with today. So right this minute, no mud, just big trippy, trippy up roots. Oh, let's see, how the bunk? Slept in the bunk. Slept great, only got up once. Uh, slept pretty sound. Wasn't too hot, a little warm, but no bugs, that was a good thing. No bugs inside the cabin. So, I had that going for us. It was quiet. Everybody quieted down for as amount of, the amount of people that were around there last night. There had to have been at least 40 people. I'll say 20 northbounders and 20 southbounders. So, it was a good mixed bag. But, we are working on our climb. So, let me get you turned around. Show you the trail. And see what the day has in still for us. Hope you guys got your fresh cup of coffee. So sit back, relax, and we'll see where the day takes us. We got that first climb out of the way, now we're heading down. And we're coming into the turnpike where we cross, I think we cross over, yep, looks like we're going over the turnpike on a catwalk. So first, first climb's out of the way, done now. We're down on the other side. A sign on the bridge said Appalachian Trail Beckett. Here we go. These are fun. And there's no other way to get here <laughs> but by foot. Here we go. Massachusetts Turnpike. And now for the other half of the freeway. Well, there's a sign right there. It says, the Berkshires. Let's see if they can pull in on that. The Berkshires.
All right, we'll see what's next for us. Well, now that we are finished with the second major climb of Beckett Mountain, we are just doing rollers now for the rest of the day. Rocks, roots, and muds in any combination of the three. But good thing that the climb is over. It was a doozy, but it's behind us now. That's the good news. We did get some trail magic at the bottom of the mountain from Big Camera, thank you very much. And his brother Leprechaun, some Powerades, drinks, all the good stuff. Yeah, and an adult beverage, yeah, forgot about that one. Uh, Tunis is packing that one out. <laughs> but uh, all we got pretty much is run the ridge of rollers. All major climbs are done for the day. Couple road crossings, we got a pond coming up. Oh, we got tenters, so be quiet. Stealth mode. I bet you guys barely even saw him, huh? That's what happens when you hike late into the night with your headlamp and can't find nowhere to set up camp. You just kind of pick the flattest spot you can find. So fortunately there's a breeze up here. That's the nice part. The breeze is not only keeping us cool, but keeping the bugs at bay. And we'll just keep moving and pushing north. See what the trail brings us today. All right, so we just stopped here at the cookie lady's house. Had a lovely hibiscus lemonade. Blueberry Hill by the AT. Refreshments for hikers, cookies, cold drinks, donation based, all the fun stuff. We are going to push back up to the trailhead. But rumor has it they were doing a little trail magic since we popped down here. Go back out here to the stand. I'm going to go up to the trailhead and wait for you guys. Take the garbage back with us. <laughs> go up here and show the street side little booth. They say it's a berry farm, blueberry farm, where you can come and pick blueberries. And then uh, cash out and pay for your berries. Everything the hiker they do here for hikers is all donation based. For the hikers, there's no set fees. So give what you can give. Lovely ice cold hibiscus lemonade. And this here is the street side stand. There it is. Welcome to Blueberry Hill. They are open. Phone numbers. Some homemade jewelry and items. Very neat. Very neat. Alright, I'm gonna roll up here to the, back up here to the trailhead. Wait for the guys.
So pretty much since lunch, shelter, since, since the uh, cookie lady, and last crossing, this is what the trail's pretty much been. Lots of mud, rocks to step on, boardwalk to walk on, and roots to trip over. Elevation's pretty much been level, but when you're fighting the thick, soupy mud, slippery rocks, and bouncy boards, you kind of slow down just a bit. But we're doing all right. Mr. Tune, he's up there, has not completely gone down. He's gone close. I almost went face down in the stream back there. Root had a hold of my toe, but was able to save it. And that's all that's been going on. So lately there has been no views or anything extravagant to speak of. It's just been kind of mundane and boring going through here. But we're pushing on. Just want to bring you back, show you what it looks like here in the upper part of Massachusetts. We're maybe a day out from crossing another state line and being in Vermont. So if anything else happens today, we'll be sure to bring you back and share along. All right, here's the view from Warner Hill. There are some big ones back there. The right out there. It's hard to tell what they are, but they're big ones. Still just going through these ups and downs with rocks, roots, and muds, but we got a nice little stream we're walking next to now. Working our way down here to a water break. And it's gonna come from this stream. And once again, it's late in the afternoon. There has been nothing to see other than, than the last view at the top of that mountain climb. I think it was Warner, Warner Mountain. But other than that, there has been nothing. It's just been mud, rocks, and boardwalks. Mud, rocks, and boardwalks. I am in the last mile of the day, the danger mile. The one that wants to jump up and bite you every time. So. Hasn't been that interesting of a day overall, so. Do apologize for that. It's the trail though. Give it and take it away, the views and the fun stuff. Today was just about putting down some miles, getting set up for tomorrow. Gotta go get some gear repaired. Trekking poles need some parts for all of us. So, but before the day was done, I just wanted to bring you back and show you nothing's changed. We're still doing the same thing. All right, there we are at our intersection, AT North. Dalton, Massachusetts, two and a half miles, Crystal Mountain Campsite, 7-7. Seven, seven. Here is the K Wood Shelter 1.17 up the hill. Right. And I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a full house tonight. Because almost everybody that was at the Upper Goose Pond cabin was coming. Whoop, I almost fell. Coming here. And most of them are younger and faster than us so all right let's get down in there and see what's going on see where we can find a place to sleep tonight yeah, 
Yeah. All right, here's a quick shot of the inside of the yeah, K Wood yeah, shelter. Yeah, so there's like a free camp site like on the south where, where we are staying the night. Right Two knees over there trying to figure out why the math's not adding up. But it is. It was so cool. I showed up there and I was alone. Gito's up there. He did his calculations. So we will go over here while all the other hikers enjoy their dinner and we don't interrupt them. Oh, my feet are sore tonight. All right, everybody. Well, Kilt here. Welcome to end of the day wrap up for day 119 on the trail. And that's the Appalachian Trail going northbound in the good year 2021. So we had a big mile day. Terrain was okay. Again, you saw most of it. Rocks, roots, mud, rocks, roots, mud. A couple big climbs. Um, just take all the energy and gusto you have out of your out of your well, all the wind out of your sails so weather was all right uh wasn't too hot but there wasn't a breeze that often so the humidity did get up got a little sticky and icky but other than that we uh fared well we're here we made it we got here before 5 30 that's a plus we started at 7 30 so it was a full day but let me get you down here to the book so we can get this wrapped up and i can get some sleep so without further ado here's the book there we go. We started our morning out right there at the Upper Goose Pond Cabin at 1551.6. And it was that half mile off trail that we don't get credit for. So we did the half mile back and got on trail and you see the first climb right there. Boom. Right out of the gate. Came down the back side of that and then I showed you going over the Massachusetts Turnpike Interstate 90. That was pretty fun. Then we started our second climb. We crossed the road to US 20. Headed on uphill and along, and there's Beckett Mountain. Got to the top of Beckett Mountain. There wasn't much of a view. And then, let's see, running the ridge. So let's turn the page. We're at the bottom of the page. And then after Beckett Mountain was the Walling Mountain. Just kind of kept going on. And then Finnerty Pond. Dropped down just a little bit with a spike. Washington Mountain Brook. Another county road, Bald Top. See all the little spikes and climbs, all rocks, roots, and mud. Stopped in there to October Mountain Shelter, had a quick lunch. Pushed on out of there real fast. That, tra that shelter was right on trail. See, AT joins Dirt Road, across Washington Mountain Road. Pass through all that, don't even remember what road that was. More streams. Boyd's Road. Warner Hill, so actually that one, where is it at? So that was where the Cookie Lady was, right there, Washington Mountain Road. That would have been the Cookie Lady. We went and saw her and got a glass of uh, hibiscus lemonade, and then got back on trail. Had a little climb right there up Warner Hill. We showed you the view of Warner Hill. No views there at Tully Mountain and the power line. And then right here to K Wood Shelter at mile 1569.2. Day 119 on trail. Got the bear box for the food and it was a 17.6 mile day. A nice healthy day. And we're sitting at 1757 feet. And it's a double decker shelter so there's a loft. There we go. So like I said there's a double decker shelter and there's a loft up there in that front edge. And let's see what this one here says. Here's the nameplate. So that is welcome to Kwood Shelter. Built by the volunteers, June of '87. Founded by the ATC. So once again, we're here, we're wrapping up another day down, another set of miles hiked. I want to say thank you to all of you for tuning in and following along. Hope you're enjoying it. I am still enjoying the hike, although it has taken every ounce of energy I've got just to get through every day. But we're getting closer. Um, we're checking the miles off the list and we're getting a smaller and smaller number every day. 
we're about to be in the final three states that's huge i'm not sure if it's going to be tomorrow or the next day but we will be in vermont and then that's a wrap last three states to get through and we're going to push hard to get to the end to finish this through hike at mount katahdin again thank you to all of you i hope you enjoyed it and if you want to see more come on back bring that fresh cup of coffee in the morning have a seat, hit play, and we will start a whole new day tomorrow. Again, my name is Kilt. We're through hiking the Appalachian Trail 2021. Have a good night, everybody. I will see each and every one of you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.